Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for continuing to watch these videos. Um, for this one, we're looking at Sublista. So Sublista is, a, is also another tool that you can use for network reconnaissance. Try it on your own website, try it on your own domain. Um, try and see if you're able to find uh, as much information as possible. See if there's anything that perhaps you don't want the outside people to, to see. So for this one, it's for subdomain enumeration. Of course, you can read about it over on sweshi.com. Uh, there's a link here, I've given an example. Um, if you don't have it installed, of course, you can run sudo apt install. I've already run the command. I'm, sh I'm, 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 I'm currently searching uh, for subdomains on Google. So here's the command. So you can see sublister. This is a three, not an E. So sublister minus D, D is domain, and then google.com or whatever domain you're searching. So my advice is you search uh, your own domain names to see if there are things that perhaps you don't want outside us to see, particularly if there are any domain names that you don't want, uh, or maybe that you don't use, that you might have to uh, get rid of, right? So when you, you, you can see that it can search through quite a number of search engines here, right? Uh, virus Toto isn't giving us any results, uh, but there's about 97 results that it found, okay? So from the main domain to all of the different domains that uh, that Google operates. So it's a very, very handy tool to find out uh, the subdomains on a website. If you're doing a penetration test, that um, can be quite handy. You might have to do port scans for each of those domains, but generally it's, it gives you a starting point. Of course, you can save these results by putting minus O, and then you can put a path to save the file. So for example, save it in results.txt, right? And that would be uh, that, that would be where the results would be saved, right? But uh, I don't need to save it, but of course <laughs> this will go ahead and, and complete that. Uh, let me perhaps just cancel the process, control Z. And then it's also possible that you can also, other than saving the results, uh, for a given domain name, you might be searching specifically for domain names that have certain ports open. Okay, so in this case, minus P20, 21 means that we're checking if uh, we're checking for subdomains that have FTP open. Okay, so this could be a handy tool if you are looking for certain port numbers that are open on uh, the subdomains. Okay. Perhaps the exploit you're trying to run uh, only works on certain port numbers. Um, so this, this could help you find the subdomains that have certain ports open. So that's pretty much what we mean. And that's all that the sublister is meant to do. It's meant for subdirectories, finding subdomains, right? <laughs> subdomains rather than subdirectories. So if you learned something, of course, like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel. And um, of course, for me, I would rather use tools like Shodan, uh, DNS Dumpster especially, is able to give me more detailed results than using something like this. But for people that are especially um, trying something that's command line, especially if you want to, uh, to run it using a script, um, this could be an option. So anyways, have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching.